Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rahakadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, chiefly of Great Millstone. <clears throat> um, just a really quick hit. Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father, it means he is. Yahweh Shai's name, the Son, it means he is. He says, Rahakadash is named the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. Just something that I kind of. Um, understood when I read Second Ezra 12 and 17 and this is um, talking about um, a lot of the Roman emperors and, and stuff like that um, but in particular 17 as for the voice which, and this is just something else that confirms that this is talking about the Roman Empire which is as the voice went thou which thou heard speak and thou sawest not go out from the heads but out of the midst of the body so <coughs> <coughs> And I think it's somewhere before then as well. Let me see. This is talking about the Roman Empire and it kind of breaks it down later on. Yeah, 10. And I beheld um, second Ezra 11 and 10. And I beheld a load of voice went out, not of her heads, but out of the body. And 12 and 11, I said, uh, was it 12 and 6? Let's, let's see, what was I searching for? 12 and 17. As for the voice which thou heard speak, and thou sawest not go out from the heads, but from but from the midst of the body thereof, this is the interpretation. And then it goes on to the, the um, breaking down the fall of the different empires. And you've got to understand that at the time when this was written, they, I mean, oh, well, this was before the, um, some of the Roman empires became as strong as they were. But, you know, um, the spirit is, you know, kind of knows that it, it can't just be saying things out because otherwise these books will be burned when these prophecies come to pass. So it's always being written in code so that so that it can it can be understood in secret throughout the ages, you know. And this is the things that, you know the 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 Hebrews and uh, the the true Israelites, they 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 are they know the secret knowledge and you know i wouldn't be surprised if that's what all the freemasons and them lot is trying to replicate because they're trying to create all these secret societies where they've got all this secret ancient knowledge but um the true people that have the light the true illuminated ones are the he uh, are the hebrew israelites because we have this knowledge and it says there's a scripture that says surely i will reveal my secrets unto the prophets uh, or servants See, I can't remember. I think it's Isaiah. But I might be wrong. You would do nothing but re re reveal his secrets unto his servants, right? Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord God will do nothing but he will reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So these, this knowledge has been um, handed down. And the, the, going back to what I was trying to say before, which is in Second Ezra's 11 and 10 and 12 and 17, da, da, um, it is the, the voice that came out of the head I mean, out of the body and not of the head is is that um, the democratic system of the Roman Empire. You see, the Caesar himself couldn't make decrees. The voice that they're talking about is the commands, <clears throat> the one that issues the laws that go out across all the land that's heard by all nations, not over only over Rome but over the whole empire. That is the voice, the decrees, the laws, the statutes of Rome. But it didn't come out of the head because it wasn't just Caesar. It had to be passed through the Senate. And that's why it talks about the beast of many heads. So that's just something else to add to the breakdowns um, 
that um, GMS and well, really the spirit is is so graciously um, imparting on on us um, of his servants, you know, and uh, just to say thawada, you know, how shy for breaking that seal, man, because otherwise, man, we would have all been niggas <laughs> for one of a better way of putting it. All right, well, without asking. Someone.